Hi, Roy. Hi. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Uh, uh, Roy Meyer, of course, it's uh, our concert master uh, of the Illinois Symphony Orchestra. Roy, uh, really great, great to see you. I know it's great that, to see you too, Ken. Yes, uh, and coming Sunday, you're going to play uh, some music for us. Yes, uh, Sunday night at 6 p.m. It's a great new series that the Illinois Symphony is going to be doing all through June. So before we talk about music, Roy, um, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, coping one, number one, I think, with this and, and, and having a ton of extra time and just how, figuring out how to fill it. So I, uh, I've been cooking a lot, virtually every meal. Uh, I've been reading a lot, uh, getting into some human psychology, uh, inside my own head a little bit, which is interesting. Um, and I've been, you know, keeping up a, a good practice routine for the most part. Uh, I wasn't so great at first. I took a, a, a good deal of time off, but now I've been uh, motivated uh, for this concert and other things that are coming up. And then I've been exercising a lot. Uh, got a stationary bike in my apartment and have been taking walks up and down the uh, alleyways of Chicago. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Roy, what have you missed the most? I, I would have to say it's definitely playing music with other people. No question. Yeah. yeah it's tough, isn't it? I mean, that's, yeah. that's what we do. Yeah. It's, 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 it's nuts that you just, you can't do what you love right now, or the, you can to some degree, but we're all figuring it out yet. What about, do you, do you, are you teaching at all? Yes, I have um, five online students that I teach that keeps uh, a day regulated too. Wow. Okay. Well, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you're going to play for us. Um, so yeah. this is a, a solo violin recital, I guess. Basically, yeah, solo violin recital. Um, I will be playing some of the standards for um, uh, solo violin, but also including a few tricks of my own and maybe a, a surprise here and there. All right. So first, kicking off the program, I'm going to play... Um, Two movements from the first uh, sonata by Bach uh, in G minor. Roy, that looks like that looks very familiar to me. Can can I can I see yes. it? Yes, absolutely. Here you go. Yeah, you know I, I remember these. You know we, we <laughs> I used to play them too. I mean they are pretty. Uh, they're like the Bach sonatas. They're like almost we call the Bible, right? Yeah, pretty much. Absolutely. And so which ones are you playing for us? I'm going to be playing the first sonata in G minor, the uh, uh, two movements from it, uh, the Adagio and Fugue. Oh, I, nice. Uh, yeah. I, I selected uh, just two movements rather than the entire uh, piece because uh, the entire piece takes almost, you know, a little over 20 minutes, and I didn't want the entire program to be constricted by Bach. Plus, I think everyone's attention spans aren't exactly what we're used to being. So I want to keep uh, a lot of different things to keep your attention. Okay, well, we, I guess you, we'll start with Bach and what, any other composers that we may recognize? Yes, absolutely. I'm also doing a, um, a piece by Foray, the Sicilian, Opus 78. It's, um, it's, it was written for his uh, music to Peleus and Melisande which is, of course, a uh, um, uh, play of uh, creation and destruction, which I think, and this cycle of creation and destruction, which is maybe kind of going on for us all right now in some way. And that piece is also in G minor. I've been kind of uh, magnetically pulled to G minor right now. <laughs> the key of turmoil. Yeah, and tragedy and sadness for Mozart. <laughs> and, uh, and, you said you have a few tricks also. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on also right now a Vivaldi violin concerto. Um, and fortunately the accompaniment is all strings. Um, so I'm working on uh, both transposing and arranging that for myself. I'm gonna pre-record the orchestra parts my, on my own and then play the, the solo line live for you. That uh, uh, Vivaldi concerto is also in G minor. Oh my goodness, so there's a lot of Gs. <laughs> Yeah, a good amount of G minor, I've had strict to it, but I've, I'm trying to pull in a couple more positive pieces as well towards the end. That's, that, that's, that's really, really nice. And um, 
uh, normally, what do you do in the summer, uh, like during this time when the our concert season is over? Um, well, the, the past couple of years, I, I have a quartet extends into June just a little bit. Um, usually in the summer, I have a few summer festivals that I go to, um, one in Bloomington uh, with Lisa Nelson in University of uh, Wesleyan, Illinois Wesleyan University. And then I usually go to a festival I started in Houston, Minnesota, uh, the Apollo Music Festival. And then I usually had a, my own festival in uh, my hometown of Sherry, Wisconsin. And then at some point, I always try to get uh, at least two weeks to go hiking in the mountains. Oh, that's so nice. Well, yeah. I mean, are, you, are you able to go home at all this summer? I haven't gone home yet uh, because I don't want to be the one to bring it to my tiny hometown and, and spread a virus from some out of town city slicker. Oh my goodness. That's a challenge. But I, I do tr try to play, I try to plan to go home soon, but uh, when this clears up a little bit more. That's really great. Well, Roy, thank you so much. And um, mm -hmm. well, we were talking about, you know, you're, you, you, you're going to, you're, you're cooking a lot for yourself, right? Yeah. I, you know, one thing I've uh, come to uh, really love is drinking d different kinds of tea. Uh, oh, that's a good experience. I just bought bought this, you know, the buckwheat black buckwheat tea. Um, mm. Really, really good. Have you have you tried this before? Uh, no, actually, I haven't. I, I don't drink too much tea. Yeah. So this is all you do. You know, you, you just put the tea in there. Here, try some. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I really like tea. Oh, actually, this is a Bloody Mary and a beer chaser. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is getting better and better these days. <laughs> well, Roy, thank you so much for, for joining mm. us. And um, we look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it, too. Mm.